A young man who was studying for the ministry and on his way to church to deliver a sermon died because police say someone else was driving drunk at 10 in the morning, Sunday morning. 22-year-old Keeman Jones, his family was expecting him to pick them up for church Sunday morning, but he never arrived. Well, just a few miles from his family's home, a red light runner slammed into his Ford Focus. Police say the 23-year-old behind the wheel was intoxicated. Fox Force Peyton Yeager live now in Arlington with the story. Peyton. Heather, I spoke with the Jones family today. Yesterday, they were waiting for Kimon for hours. They eventually reported him missing, but they knew when he did not show up for church that something was wrong. He turned around, hugged me real tight. I love you, mama. I said, I love you, son. And that's the last words I heard from my child. Angel Jones, joined by her three children, remembers her final goodbye to her son Saturday night. The Arlington mother was expecting her second youngest, 22-year-old Kimon Jones, the next morning. He was on his way to my house, and we were going to go to church with him. My son never made it here. The 22-year-old was home in North Texas for the summer. Jones is currently studying ministry in Illinois. He was set to give a sermon Sunday morning at Bible Missionary Church in Arlington, but with only a few miles left to his mom's house, Jones's life was cut short. At nine something in the morning, you killed my child. 23-year-old Brian Lazarzaboro Penafiel was booked into the Arlington jail Monday afternoon on an intoxication manslaughter charge. Just before 10 a.m. Sunday morning, witnesses told police Penafiel's BMW was speeding and ran a red light at South Collins Street and East Arbrook Boulevard. Arlington police say Jones was legally going through a green light when Penafiel slammed into his Ford Focus. The collision caused the 22-year-old's car to flip on its side. Jones was pronounced dead at the scene. I don't even know who I am right now. I never to expect to bury one of my kids. Jones's family quickly reported him missing. They spent all day Sunday calling hospitals and retracing Jones's steps, even passing the very intersection where Kimon was killed. Sunday evening, Jones's mother finally got a call. The license plates were a match. I don't want no sorry. I don't want to know it was a mistake, none of that, because you were irresponsible. Police do not have the results yet from a blood alcohol test on Penafiel, but based on a failed sobriety test and witness statements, Arlington police believe Penafiel was intoxicated at the time of the crash. He was not seriously injured. I know his last moments were probably pretty scary, but I know my brother knew he knew where he was going. Brianna Jones says her little brother's purpose was to be a pastor a future her family says they will never get to see. He had a whole life for him. He didn't even get to a have kids. A whole life. He didn't get to have kids. He didn't get to get married. Arlington police say Penafiel's story he told investigators, plus the witness statements and the failed sobriety tests that all led to a warrant for his arrest. But it's still unclear where he was coming from at 9.45 a.m. or where he was going.